I hope the quality of this video is a little bit better. I got a new light and a new mic, so I'm really hoping it's better quality. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley. What is up? I hope you are doing absolutely wonderful today. It is the new year. It is 2017. Now we can all sit around in a big circle and pray and hope that 2017 will be better than 2016 because I think we all had a pretty rough year last year. But to start things off on a positive note this year, I wanted to do a video with my goals for this year. Not necessarily resolutions or things that I am going to completely change, but some things that I would like to accomplish within 2017. And for a lot of these, I do want to hear what your goals are for 2017 so be sure you leave them in the comments below when you're done watching the video. My first goal is to create more. Whether that's blog posts, queuing stuff for my other blogs, actually writing out full blog posts, making more videos, I just want to do something more for my creative outlet and I want to express that more. Also things like posting more on my main Instagram because I rarely ever post on my main Instagram that's because I feel like I can't get a good photo but I just need to start posting great things that happen in my life and I need to get over as that and with the creating more, I want to be able to maintain a schedule with my posts, at least here on YouTube. So making sure I'm posting the two videos a week here, one video a week on my side channel and one video a week on my regression channel. I want to be able to keep that up and have content coming out for you. My second goal is to live in the moment and not get caught up in a bunch of things that don't really matter. Drama between people, I just don't need to be a part of that and I need to, I'm usually not a part of that anyway, but I want to make sure that I am not a part of it at all this upcoming year. I don't want to deal with things that don't matter. I don't want to deal with things that are petty and I just want to live my life and be happy and work through all of that. I want to become more self-sufficient. I want to be able to depend on myself whether that is financially or emotionally. Like I want to be able to do things myself and not always completely rely on somebody else because I'm a very dependent person. Part of that is due to my mental illness and part of that is due to I've always been dependent but I want to start doing more independent things like making my own money and like not having to rely on a ton of other people people for a ton of different things. This one is a big one for me and is that I want to achieve stability and be more in tune with my emotions. This year with emotions has been an absolute roller coaster. I've been stable kind of for the first time in my entire life this year and it started to get bad towards the end of the year. So I want to work more with my therapists on figuring out the problems that are wrong and find coping strategies and methods of practicing self-care. Just in general doing things that'll make me more happy and more healthy emotionally. The final thing I want to do is cut out toxic people and toxic things from my life. I need to not be afraid to unfollow a mutual that's been upsetting me or done something to really bother me. I need to learn to do what's best for me. I need to learn to cut off communication with people that make me upset, whether it's their fault they make me upset or if it's my fault. I need to do what's best for me and make sure I'm only surrounding myself with safe, healthy people who make my life a better place. Those are just some of my goals for 2017 and I would love to hear all of your goals down in the comments below. I'm gonna read through, respond to some of them, and it's just gonna be a grand old time. If you could thumbs up the video that would be really great because it really helps me out and be sure to subscribe because I post two videos a week on this channel channel and once a week on both of my other channels which are linked in the description if you'd like to subscribe to those as well. I also wanted to give a shout out to my latest Patreon, It's Little Squishy. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my content. So I love you guys. You know, subscribe, stay tuned, whatever, follow me on all my stuff and then you can keep up with if I'm actually like doing these goals this year. Um, I love you guys and I will see you guys on Tuesday, okay? Goodbye!